video stems from a couple of my guildies. They're getting all pissed off because they don't have any legendaries. They're like true free to play players. And they're like, screw this game. You can't get past a certain amount of trophies anymore without legendaries. It's like you lose automatically all the time unless you have legendaries. So I took it upon myself to make a non-legendary deck that doesn't have any legendaries in it. Here it is right here. To show you that you can still win even without legendaries. These are all cards everyone can get. Uh, I, I think all of them... I think all of them... Yep, so... Okay, so... The only, the only one that takes Arena 5 is the Zap spell here. All right? That's the only one. The other ones are all... Well, I don't know when the Lightning Bolt comes into play. When is that going to... Shit, that's an Arena Level 1 thing. Okay, so these are all cards you can get at relatively low levels. The deck, average elixir cost 3.4. Let me just show you this in action. Okay, so this one is me, no legendaries, versus a dude that has three legendaries. He's running the Princess, the Ice Wizard, and the freaking Mole. Yay. That's what I'm calling him, the Mole. All right. So with this lineup, it's all about just getting damage in and met trying to use your lightning spell around, obviously on their towers, but when they have either other buildings around or other troops around, all right? So he's got his princess out, he's got his ice wizard out, and I want to, and then I see this. Okay, this is when I can drop my horde. I just do damage on this. He's got, look at that, three freaking legendaries. This guy down here doesn't really do too much damage over time, so I'm not too worried about him, okay? So now that I know what he's kind of running, this is kind of the feel him out period. I need, to, I need to hold my cards and play them in the correct order as he plays his stuff. All right, so I don't really want that princess taking pop shots on my tower anymore. So I drop my musketeer, take her out, and I get the ice wizard down as well. Good play, messenger, all right? So now I'm gonna, I got a little bit of elixir. I tried to, see that's some bull crap right there. I tried to get my hog rider out before the tower would hit my musketeer. And my hog rider was ahead, but for some reason still freaking died. Anyway. All right, I got the cannon out there, took out his little mini P.E.K.K.A. I'm, I'm starting to feel pretty good. I've seen all his cards now. I did not realize he had a mirror card yet though. He hasn't really used it. So I'm starting to build up a little too much elixir, so I gotta use it. I wanna see how he deals with my hordes. And he doesn't have any arrows, it looks like, which is great. That's what I want. All right, so I know that he doesn't have any arrows. I just keep that in the back of my mind. I got, the way he dealt with my minion horde was princess and wizard. Just keep that in the back of your mind. So here it is, gotta defend against the mini P.E.K.K.A. Can do that a thousand times. Again, that guy on the bottom there, the little freaking mole, I'm not too worried about him. And then he's a moron, and he put another one right next to it with my goblins. Thank you very much. All right, so he's got the wizard. He's trying it again. Again, I'm not too concerned about it. He just doesn't do that much damage, but instead, I can make a great push, and now I got his tower down to where I can zap it or lightning bolt it. And all I have to do is defend now. I gotta defend and do a last minute attack on his tower. And that's it. That's, I know I have this guy in the bag. He's got zap for direct damage. And if he can't get anything else on my tower, I will win. So I drop my hog rider just to distract. I'm not concerned about the mole. I know he's called the freaking miner, but I'm calling him mole because that's what he looks like. And, and I got the dubs. I got the dubs. All right, here's another one, right? Don't know what he has, obviously. I know his name is Jing, but that's about it. So, I see, okay, he's dropped his Lux Clicker. This is, this is, this is Elixir Management 101. When you see your opponent drop down something heavy in Elixir, you take note of that and you counter it, all right? He just dropped something that cost five Elixir. That means he only had five more Elixir left. You take advantage of that. I had 10. So it's 10 versus five and his tower. Luckily, 
When I dropped all that stuff, I took a risk there. He could have had an arrow and, and just nuked all of that stuff, and I would have been screwed. So anyway, here you go. Drop the minion horde on the right, cannon on the left. Just defending this. No big deal. Got my musketeer as well. Now he's got five elixir. I've got none, but I've got something attacking. Okay, now I saw he has a fireball for my minion horde. So I got to keep that in the back of my mind. Good push on the left, though. He has not responded well to it. Free tower. Absolute free tower. So in, my, in the back of my mind, I'm thinking, okay, our elixir probably is pretty even right now. I don't know that for sure. Obviously, we can see it here. It's even. Now he's dropped the elixir collector. I know I have more than him, so I have to make the next move. I'm gonna just going to try to take out that elixir collector. Just to keep things even, right? Piss him off, too. It's always fun. All right, so he's pushing left. Let's drop the cannon. Let's drop the minion horn. Take out that threat. So far, I've seen that he's got that prince as his main threat and and his barbarians. That's like the main threat I've seen so far. He's got a rocket, obviously, but I have not seen that at this point. So it's time to push right. I Don't ever let your elixir just sit at 10. It's absolute waste of elixir. Okay? If I would just sit here at 10, wait for him to attack, then he would be getting free elixir and he could counter. I mean, it's just, you don't do that, all right? If you have 10, drop something, drop it close to your, your king tower. All right, gotta defend this. He, I feel like that if I defend this well, I could probably turn up the heat a little bit. It was a nice fireball though, so I'm not expecting too much of that push. Drop the defensive tower. I know he's got 20 seconds to make a move, right? 20 seconds. I just got to fuck. 20 seconds. 15 seconds, all it is. I know the wizard ain't going to do it. He's got to get either direct damage. And this is where he has the rocket. He has a rocket. He could have used this right now, killed that tower. I don't know what he was thinking. This is just bad play. See, at, at, I mean, I'm, I'm in legendary, right? I know that. But... Most of the time, it's bad play that's keeping you down in trophies rather than the cards that you have. Yes, you have to have consistency in your cards. You know, they have to be able to work together or whatever. But most of the time, it's just bad play. He had a rocket in his hand. He could have just nuked my tower and he would have been able to go to overtime. And then who knows, right? So most of the time when you're down in trophies, it's more than likely because of two reasons, bad gameplay and bad deck cohesion. You gotta have a decent deck. And what I mean by that, it has to work together. You can't have like a deck that costs seven elixir on average. You have to have a decent deck that works together, that has good offense, good defense, a good strategy. It's mostly gameplay. I'm showing you a deck that you can use as long as you play it correctly. Here's another version of that same deck. All these cards, none of them are legendary. You could totally play any game with this deck at any level, well, for the most part. I think the highest card in that deck is in Arena 4, and that's just a freaking Hog Rider. I mean, come on now. Everything else, you should be able to have no problemo. And just here's that replay of a match I just played right before I got on this video of me using this modified deck, okay? Again, it's all about putting pressure on your opponent, you know? With this kind of low, lower cost deck that has a lot of minions and no elixir collector, you really wanna to try to keep the pressure on your opponent, making him have to use defensive things in order to uh, take out your stuff, like your hog rider and whatever. Um, I don't want him to be able to build up Elixir Collector because I don't know what he has. He might have a Golem. He might have, you know, the, the Royal Giant. I don't want him to be able to build up and get those guys out because I really don't have too much to counter it. I've got the Mini P.E.K.K.A., which is great, and I got the Valkyrie, but I, and, you know, we have got the Minion Horde, but my deck is not made for those kind of things. So now I let him get this giant skeleton out and I'm like, oh crap. So what am I gonna do? I've got to get behind enemy lines a little bit. I use my hog rider as a decoy just to get that musketeer off my uh, goblins there. They weren't able to take out that dude. 
So he's unfortunately going to get that bomb off of my tower. I got to distract on this left side. I'm only going to commit those three spear goblins though, and he's going to get a couple hits on my tower. See, this is a lot of times right there where a lot of noobs are going to like, oh, I can't let him hit my tower, and I hit, and they end up dropping another set of troops. Well, yeah, okay. You just kind of wasted that because, yes, he might get one hit on your tower instead of two, but now those troops that you just dropped have nothing behind them as you push forward because you're out of elixir. So it, sometimes it's worth it to let your opponent, if, it's, if that character is low, to just go ahead, get his hits on your tower, and your tower kill it rather than drop extra troops. Because now I can, I can mount a proper push. I see that he's really building up an attack on the left, so I go ahead and counter, I mean on the right, and I counter on the left. And then when he gets close, then I can deal with this stuff. Valkyrie in the middle of it all, I want to hit the back line. So I, that's their damage, right? That giant skeleton doesn't really, doesn't really scare me too much. So I want to take out that, that back line. And by taking out that back line, he's got no damage. Then I can deal with the giant skeleton, no problem. He drops another one. Okay, this time I got the mini P.E.K.K.A. ready. He's really pushing hard. Got that hog rider on the left. I see that he used all that elixir. And he's like basically giving me free hits on that tower. If I can basically survive the right side by distracting or whatnot, that left side push was totally worth it. Look at that. He didn't get anywhere near that tower. And then just a rocket to finish him off. No problemo. So yeah, this, this deck right here, this deck right here, I'm using in legendary tier. We just reset for the new season. I'm already at 31.16. This deck can be used up to legendary. I mean, I, I don't know how it would do, you know, in the 4,000 range, in the 4,000 trophy range. Probably not good because, you know, maybe then there's certain cards that are just part of the meta and just part of being absolutely OP. But this one right here is definitely viable at my level. And I have no problem winning with it. Yes, I lose occasionally because the algorithm likes to match me up with freaking decks that completely counter. But that happens at all levels all the time. But yeah, there you go. There you have it. Got to have deck cohesion and you've got to have smart play. How many of you would have dropped that hog rider on the left side of the screen when you saw the giant skeleton and all of that coming down the right side? Got to know when to go hard defense and find your opportunities to counterattack. So yeah, that's it for the video, boys and girls. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought. Uh, I, I, I'm looking for more ways to do Clash Royale videos. Right now it's kind of like, there's, there's just not a lot of material. I mean, do you want to just watch me play? I, I don't know, I could do that. It's easy to just show you my decks and show you me playing. If that's something you want to see, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you have any other ideas about Clash Royale videos, let me know in the comments below. If I have some great ideas, I will definitely do those videos. But yeah, that's all for now. I'm hitting the road back to my ultimate gaming lounge. I will see you on the flip side, people. Peace.